Hi everyone, so I got a really fun video update for you. So this is Obon Star Racers, um, part 7 I think now. So this is a really cool update for Dreams. Um, this is the um, Obon Star Racers game that's being made um, in Dreams pretty much. Um, so yeah, you can actually see some of the... Um, I got two racers now. Um, so this one's actually still being worked on. Um, I still got a little tiny details like right up here. Um, I got a couple little details on the paint to do. Um, and I got multiple expressions to program. The hyperdrive for it, I got to make the piloting for it and even the AI system for it. Um, but I just want to give you a basic idea so far how it's like and what it's looking like. Um, so as you can see, um, this is actually one of our racing um, uh, blocks that we are going to be having. Um, so this is one of the turns here, and then this is going to be one of our straightways. Now, we can actually have a lot of these. Um, it's actually kind of really funny. So these things, um, I could probably have about a hundred of these, like literally, so we can make entirely big uh, maps and stuff and all that fun jazz. Um, I'm just kind of stretching it out real quick. Um, just kind of give you the um, idea um, what um, it'll kind of look like in some ways. So um, let me see if I can get it. Yep. Okay, it's close enough. So you can kind of get the idea of what it'll look like. It's going to look really fun, really cool. It'll be more smooth than actually even um, because that's just a small little thing. Um, but you can kind of get the idea um, for what it'll be like seeing um, yourself racing through here and going through um, to go against your opponents. Um, so the goal is, uh, that I have in mind here, um, is to make it where it's um, saving memory, which has been a very big deal. Um, so the turn piece right here is about um, I would say three to four percent on uh, graphics memory, and then this is about three or four percent the straightaway. Um, I I have a very lim big limitation. So these guys here, um, that's twenty percent of graphics memory, and this is twenty percent of graphics memory. So that makes it forty percent um, is going to be. Uh, two racers, um, and I can't go further in that because if I max out the uh, the graphics memory, it's gonna lock me out where I can't do any more. Um, so what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna be doing a land map and then a also a water version um, of a different map. Um, so this is gonna be um, making it where I can do very large scale maps and also making it where it does everything you see in the anime and it's extremely fun and it's actually very easy to uh, switch out different pieces, make different versions, making a lot of fun stuff. Um, so obviously uh, this um, is going to be a work in progress but you can definitely see how this little cat racer which is Paradise, uh, you can see what she looks like. Um, all these are actually separate objects because I want to make these move and her expressions um, react to certain things and it's going to be very um, awesome in a lot of different factors but anyways um, I'm going to go ahead and just like rotate this up real quick as best I can so this is not going to look so good but I just want to give you the idea um, what to expect when her uh, gun stuff comes out. So I'm going to be doing a couple things. Um, I'm hoping to kind of explain here. Um, do, 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 if I can get this open. Yeah. Kind of got it. So obviously when I do animate this, it's going to be very tricky. Golly. Okay. All right. So here we are. Um, that's not exactly too perfect. Okay, we're going to act like that's how it's going to be. All right, so she's going to have two turrets on both sides here. Um, so this is going to be a special ability um, of hers. And when she does this too, her facial expression will change and act accordingly. Um, and right now it looks like um, 
it doesn't look too well because I still have to paint the inside, still got to do the turrets, still got to do everything. So it's going to be a little bit of extra work. Uh, but once that's done, um, we're looking at moving ears, we're looking at moving whiskers, moving expressions, um, a lot of different wind effects, particle effects, and different things. It's going to look really epic. Um, so, um, what I was saying about the special abilities, uh, there is going to be two ways for you can fire. And yes, you will be firing in this game. Um, you'll be piloting, uh, so you'll be pretty much uh, right behind, um, like in this range when you're flying around, uh, you will have a target on screen. And with a controller um, motion sensors from you tilting, you will be able to have a target on screen uh, that responds to that and you can actually fire and hit targets on screen. So that makes it where we can uh, make you shoot at obstacles, balloons, and different power-up abilities. Uh, we do plan on three different balloons. Uh, one's going to be for health, uh, second's going to be for gas, um, and then third is for special ability. So a special ability is where um, your vehicle, um, your ship, whatever one you choose, say it's like Paradise for example, when she fires her weapons, normally it's going to be um, the ones up here, which I haven't done just yet, but once I get to it, she'll have a little um, things pop out right up here uh, to shoot uh, missiles or something like that, and that's going to be on her regular weapons. Now, uh, down uh, here is going to be her special ability, where if she shoots um, one of these targets and she actually pops one of the balloons that has a special ability, um, she can actually have these turret things pop out and she can shoot you with a special ability. Now, it'll be the same thing for this one. Um, so this one's going to coordinate from, if you go to the left side with the sensor, it's going to appear on the left, to the right, it's going to go into the right side of the ship. It's very, very uh, creative. Um, so what's going to happen, uh, so this is actually an older version of this model, because um, the other one is actually being programmed and worked on right now, so I want to make it where you guys um, can see that in a newer video coming up. Um, but <clears throat> my voice is dying. Oh my gosh, every time I go and do videos. Yeah, so actually every time I do videos, my voice dies because, yeah, my voice sucks. Um, so anyways, yeah, the, the way how this is going to work, it's going to shoot those long, golden, shiny bullets type of things out. But when it goes and shoots one of the targets and you pop the special ability um, balloon, um, it's going to make it where you can shoot this elongated beam. So this beam is um, like shooting out of both of these cannons. It's very flimsy where like if you are moving your target across the screen, it kind of flimses behind a little bit. Um, but it's very effective, you know, it'll make it where it's really fun um, and really cool to see the actual special ability. So that'll be its special ability. And then this one will be the turrets popping out. Now each of these vehicles that we're going to be making, they're all going to have special abilities and stuff. Um, but also at the same time, I'm trying to make these things keep under 20%. Um, it's incredibly difficult to do. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to do. Just make it where it's under 20%. Boom, 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 boom. I can get going. Now, um, so for the most part, um, I still have a lot of work uh, cut out for me. And um, I actually had somebody join me on the project um, for helping me out. Um, this was another fan of Oban Star Racers. Um, and honestly, uh, they're incredibly amazing, um, talented people. Um, we were working on a lot. Um, let's see, before I actually go and continue, I want to show you the person's name. Okay, so um, this person's actually doing the programming of the Whizzing Arrow right now. I'm paying that person $100 to make the Whizzing Arrow do its jam of the interface, all the uh, speeding uh, gadget things, everything of that fun jazz. So you'll be piloting and also shooting at the same time. That is what he's working on in development for me. 
Then um, over here, this person is actually the other person that is helping me create the Oban Star Racer. Um, this person lives in France and has been amazing help. Um, he's very talented on uh, doing the painting and uh, making the models and different things. So me and him kind of really messed up pretty good on uh, making stuff together and uh, we had a hard time there <clears throat> trying to find a perfect balance because we were creating um, things that are very um, too high on counts here this right here would have been killing us right now because there's multiple different pieces it's way too heavily painted um, yes it looks incredibly so freaking pretty like with all the little thingies here but um, it killed us it literally fucking killed us so sorry for the language but it seriously killed us <laughs> um, dreams has a max memory issue and if we hit that max memory issue it's going to kill the whole game where um, we still have to create the traps we still got to create the other obstacles and different things so um, that little painting style that you see there though uh, we decided um, to do that painting style on the beginning area because now we are very very tight we're extremely tight when it comes to the game graphics memory pretty much so we're making things incredibly small and you can see that there's a lot missing here because there's supposed to be these towers and this thing is supposed to be over here and uh, there's supposed to be an audience and stuff but unfortunately with dreams um, we just are incredibly tight on memory so 40% is going to two racers and then we have 60% that's left to create the entire world so that makes it where we have an issue if we are going to create this, we have to create things um, trying to save memory as much as we can because the racers are incredibly complex, very, very complex uh, stuff. So what we are looking at um, to doing this uh, beginning area, uh, we are going to scratch this paint off right here. This is going to be redone here. We This is just a basic version for us to kind of get an idea like, okay, what are we going to do? So... Um, how can I put it? So we're going to actually make this look a lot more better on the paint job on all this fun jazz. But what we're going to do is we're going to do paint moss on the lower parts of the walls. So even on the gate here, we're going to do little mossy effects and stuff. And then it's going to go up and be a little bit dirty and stuff. Just like how you saw um, the straightways. Um, just like how you saw these pieces here. Um, it's going to be the same on this. So the walls are going to have moss kind of crumping up on them and uh, coming off of the tops here um, and be all stone like and different things and so this is going to be all um, mossy on the edges on the floor and then we're going to do little patches of moss and different things make it look very pretty um, over here we're going to do a little bit of moss on the bottom edges and then go up into it now it looks extremely different than what it normally should look like but this is two percent literally two percent on graphics memory um, and that is the goal right now is to make it okay let us go and make it where we can lower the memory as much as we can and push it as far as we can on trying to make the graphics memory down because if it's too much we can't make a full game we we just can't because you got the programming the the, the nodes and everything else that's going to take up more graphics memory um, so the traps moving all those have the little different mechanics that take up more graphics memory so we have to put that in account traps in account and also along with the environment objects and different things we're going to put into the world so we have decided, uh, as that gets remade and repainted, um, we'll see like what we can add on more details. So if we can add more, we'll add more details to these things, um, which is going to be really cool. But we can't know for sure until we have the other um, objects um, done here. Um, so here's one of the tunnel things that we are testing out to kind of seeing okay how would this look um so this right here is extremely low on memory um 
or trying to figure out ways to save memory. If we were going to do the ones that Oban Star Racer normally has, it requires a lot of painting and then a lot of objects. So we were like, okay, obviously this is going to hit us hard when it comes to this. So what do we do to make it where we can make it look pretty and make it look um, just like how we would normally expect. And I can imagine like, you know, we can do moss coming up on the edges here and doing a, a similar effect from the wall kind of merging into the piece. Um, but we're trying to make it where these things can save as much as we can on graphics memory, but make it look pretty though. Uh, so it's a very delicate balancing process. And you see, here, we actually had to lower the painting details because of how much we were being hit. Even the upper parts of the walls are um, detailed down a bit uh, just to make it where we can find out, like, okay, here we made this entire map. What can we actually uh, switch out to add more details to? So once we find out, okay, we can switch out the straightway pieces and add more painting details. Boom, we can switch all of them out, make it more detailed. We're like, okay, uh, we still have a little extra. We can go and put these in. Um, but uh, we have a lot on our to-do list. Uh, a lot of objects you're going to be going, um, like, flying through and stuff. Like, you know, how you're going to be flying between objects and dodging things, moving objects, traps, you name it. We're going to go and do a whole shebang on it. Now... It's a lot of work, and um, we're pushing dreams to the very limits that we can possibly do. And so me and um, my other uh, buddy here, which is um, this person here, um, so we're working together, and we're trying to figure out that perfect balance, because now we got 40% of what we can do just eliminated just by two vehicles. Now, that makes it where... Um, we're possibly looking at one player, um, unfortunately, because the way how the interface is going to be and everything's going to be set up, it's going to be one player. Um, if down uh, down the road, if they offer co-op or if they offer online um, multiplayer, I'm hoping I can actually make the second player something um, playable for a second person online, um, and hopefully I can figure out a uh, split-screen thing if that ever became the case, if we're able to do. Um, but it's incredibly challenging to piece that together, figuring out the balance of what we can and what we can't do. So far, it's going to be one player um, that we were noticing what we can, and it'll be uh, something that is going to be, we're going to have to balance and uh, trying to get right. Um, so one player, um, and hopefully we can get the AI to be very um, good in a way to, to make it where it's fun to go against. Um, so that's going to be a lot of goals there, and I'm just trying to get all the stuff just right. Each of the ships, uh, some of them are very highly detailed, so I'm hoping I can find that balance of creating these ships and not having them kill the graphics memory. Um, so you can actually see this one right here, um, so far um, it is 14%, but we still have to do a lot of programming to it, so that's going to make it about 20%, and along with the facial expressions and everything else. So, and even with the weapons too, because we still got to program the weapons in it, so it's going to be about 20%. So, and at most, it'll be about 50% if, if, if we ever came off on having an issue. Um, hopefully not, but that's going to be what's going to happen, is that we have a certain range of things that we're going to have um, issues with, and we're hoping that making these things lower detail and all that different stuff, we can push it as far as we can to making a fully uh, graphic game, pretty much. Now, I hope you guys actually do enjoy watching these little updates. Um, it's been a while, um, it's been busy, and I also have a uh, thing going on with work. Uh, my governor has opened up uh, things coming up here next week, so that means I'm going back to my normal day job. Now, when I go back to my normal day job, um, I'm going to be a little busy, but I'll still be working on this every day and trying to get things going. I have been busy the last um, few weeks. Uh, we did lose um, some 
previous files that we were working on. And I'm not going to show you right now, but the um, large scale things like well, the big picture of things we're trying to make it where um, we get caught up because we're behind right now and um, I'm trying to get there. Um, but I am hoping that you guys really definitely love seeing how this looks and how it turned out. Um, and this is just an update to kind of be like, oh, hey, check out our new racer and check out some of our pieces and um, and just kind of explain some of the game details. Um, when it comes to the map itself, we're doing two different versions. One will be for land, and then the second one will be for the water. So it'll go with the water one. Uh, the water map is going to be cliffs, and then water below, and then it's going to lead into the farm lands that have the water and stuff like that, which looks extremely pretty. Um, we're going to go and lead into that, and then we're going to go to the uh, beach side, and, and then, you know, ending of the race. But we are doing different sets of maps to make it where we can have a full experience of what we can do. Um, it's just right now, if I try to make a full map with the water stuff into the land map, um, It'll be too much, and I would have to be extremely uh, limited, and I just can't do that. Um, I don't want to cut so much details because we had to cut so much already, and it's ridiculous on how much we had to cut. So I don't want to cut even further. Um, so hopefully we can get that all figured out, and it'll be okay. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we're going to have more expressions coming up on her, and it's going to be really cool. Uh, this is. Um, if I can just grab her face. There we go. So yeah, these are really cool um, little expressions we're going to be doing. So I'll have a different set of different expressions um, of her looking at different things, scared or uh, mad or, um, you know, just like her regular thing. Like she, she has a lot of expressions for things that she does. And she's incredibly expression vehicle like this is like one of the most expressionist like like she can express a lot of feelings in a ship which is extremely funny because a lot of uh, games and such you know they don't really have that that much um, but anyway so I hope you enjoyed seeing how this is turning out and it's gonna be a lot of things here you can see how the ears look um, and yeah <laughs> we're getting there so I hope you enjoyed that and seeing what uh, we're at. And I keep on saying that, but yeah, it's what it is. I am out of it. I have spent all day uh, working on this, um, trying to make it just right. Um, and we're going to be making these things move, you know, and, and along with the ears. The ears are separate pieces, so we can make that expression-wise. Um, so I definitely want to do little wind stream things, like coming off of the ears there if she hits on hyperdrive. Um, I have a lot of goals for her. Um, she's one of my favorite ships, so I'm definitely trying to put a lot of details in her that I can possibly can. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, comment below and let me know what you think so far. And a lot of this is still in being work in uh, development. Um, and I'm extremely behind right now because I've been busy. Um, but I definitely, definitely hope you enjoy this. And um, and my voice is horribly dead. And all of you know bec um, about my personal self, if you actually seen my other videos that my voice goes from a girl voice over to guy voice, girl voice over to guy voice. It's horrible. Mm. Now that's actually uh, just because of the fact that I use my voice and depending on the, the um, how many times that I'm actually working on a video, like on trying to record, sometimes I lose my voice. <laughs> so yeah, the um, try not to give me crap for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, my voice is total crap sometimes, um, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds like it goes between both worlds and all that fun jazz. Try not to give me shit. Anyways, you all have a good day. Later.